He was rock solid, heart of a champion, whose feats were rocket launching. In the last years, Chelsea had Kante. Fifteen years ago, they had Michael, the Bison, Essien. Pure product of Ghana, that man ruled the midfield in Premier League thanks to his outstanding's physical abilities and versatility. From Accra to London, return on the career of one of the best defensive midfielder of the 2000s. Born in Ghana, he quickly showed his talent. He was eventually scouted by Liberty Professionals. His performances as a defender at the U-17 World Cup will attract scouts from everywhere. Thanks to that, he secured a trial to Manchester United, where he impressed and signed for the Red Devils. Just kidding, the deal didn't go through because of a work permit. So another option got to him, Bastion in France. Not a top club. That allowed him to progress each year to make a name for himself in League One. A young defender, Michael was becoming a monstrous midfielder known as the Bison, due to his powerful attributes. After three years and went to the best club in France, Laya and Elian, he was spectacular too. With two other midfielders like Daira and Juninho, no wonder Lyon dominated the league and was scary in the Champions League. Remember what they did to me. He played 96 games for Lyon and scored 12 goals. He was so good that he was named best player of League One in 2005. Lyon couldn't keep this diamond for a long time. After two years, reigning champion Chelsea broke a record fee for League One to get him. That's where he met his white father, Josai Mourinho. Essien thrived under the Portuguese. They had a special relationship. He stunned the Premier League with his capacity to go forward and break lines as a defensive midfielder. He also marked memories by scoring screamers in crucial moments. In 2007, he won the Chelsea Player of the Year award and the next year African Player of the Year. He also shone with Ghana in the World Cup where they succeeded to go to the second round in 2006. But his rise was stopped by a knee injury that kept him away from football for months. As the champion he was, he came back to mark from his print a legendary Champions League game against Barcelona. But in 2011, he got severely injured again. He won the Champions League but had no important role on this run. The rest of his career was numerous attempt to relaunch the engine. Loaned to Madrid where he reunited with Mourinho, but they didn't want to buy him despite good performances. Transfer at Milan was a bust, injury and lack of playing time. Then Greece, Indonesia and Azerbaijan. Essien didn't finish as strong as he started, but the years in Lyon and Chelsea showed us what we expected from a midfield boss. Those kinds of players are very scarce today.